talking? Well, while we're talking about all this heat, when the temperatures, when they get high, the summer sun can take its toll on your vehicle. But there are ways you can protect your car from the sun's rays. Of course, meteorologist, meteorologist Eric Fisher has more on how to do that. Wow, this car has been hurt by the sun. Faded paint, peeling trim, foggy headlights, the sun's rays may be a welcome change from the cold winter, but they can do some serious damage to your car. People don't realize the damage the sun can do to your car, not just the outside of the paint, but also the inside and all the engine components. On the exterior, it can actually fade the paint permanently and can damage the clear coat on your car. A simple coat of paste wax a couple times a year can go a long way in protecting your car's paint job. And as far as tires go, keeping them properly inflated is your best bet on those hot roadways. But as hot as a car gets on the outside, it gets even hotter on the inside. When the temperature reaches 90 degrees outside, your vehicle becomes a greenhouse or an oven, and the temperatures can be 150 degrees or more. Literally baking everything from your iPod, phone and CDs, to groceries, gum, and your favorite sunglasses. You know, if you use a sunshade, it can protect the interior and lower the inside of the car temperature by about 50 degrees. And items like seat covers, tinted windows, and steering wheel covers can also help block the sun's rays and reduce the surface temperature in your car. If you don't protect the interior of your vehicle, it can actually crack the dash, fade the carpeting, and destroy the seats. And that will affect the resale value of your vehicle, and it's very expensive to repair it, too. I'm meteorologist Eric Fisher, The Weather Channel.